Hello, hello guys, Bruno here, and welcome to an online battle for Shogun 2 multiplayer. So, um, as some of you may know, I am competing in the PMCT, which is Point Man's Commentary Tournament. It's similar to the DCT, just a bit different. Um, this is my first, my second match with YoYo007008. Um, the first match, unfortunately I forgot to save it, but he's going to send me the replay, no worries. Um, he is commanded the Iko Iki, and I am in command of the Oda. So, my army consists of six units of Bow Warrior Monks. Two units of Oda Matchlock Ashigaru with three Shevs, two units of Oda Yari Ashigaru, two units of Naginata Samurai, uh, one unit, two units of Naginata Warrior Monks, one on my left flank and one on my right flank, two units of Great Guard defending my flanks as well, and then my normal general, not Nobunaga Oda. Now my um, enemy has put up a bamboo wall and he's going to sit on this hill. Um, he's got two units of Bow Ronin, two units of uh, Ikuiki Bow Warrior Monks, his general. Uh, his two Ikuiki Naginata Warrior Monks, four Katana Ronin, a Ikuiki Yari Shigaru, and then two Naginata Monk Cav, and then he's got some Light Cav, and then some other components hidden in here. Um, now, this battle, um, I'm gonna have a guest, special guest here. You can go ahead, man, and explain why you're here. Aww, look, you remembered this, not your general. Woohoo! I know, I'm so proud. I'm Vizero! Um, yes. Go ahead. Um, so in this battle, um, we Vizero, The reason I brought Vizero on is because one, he's fun to commentate with, he -he. Um, and second of all, uh, he was the key um, chooser in helping me pick out this army because I lost the first battle, and it's because my opponent sat on the hill with superior skirmish um, components than me, and I was forced to charge him, and I got destroyed. So, for I think four to five hours, is that about right, man? Um, something like that. Yeah. For many, many hours. Um, Vizero and I deliberated, and we spent many times testing and training to try to figure out a good army build to beat a skirmish, can a skirmish hill sitting army. So, this is what we came up with. Vizero, you can go ahead and tell what your thinking was behind it. Well, as anybody knows, if anybody's ever actually played against or with the Iku Iki, they have high morale. I mean, their Ashigaru units might suck in stats, but that's besides the point. But all their, all their units have such a high morale. They're really hard to route. Their katana ronins are better than a katana samurai, hands down as well. And uh, the entire point of this force right here is to pin and hold and to cause as much morale shock as possible to get rid of them. And it's about the only way to actually kill the fucking guys. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, so right up here guys, my bow monks are going to start advancing forward in a bit, and I'll show you how I won against this. So we've got six bow warrior monks, non-shevved, on two bow ronin, and two um, equally bow warrior monks. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus fire them, and I'm going to use my flank men, my flank bowmen, to use uh, uh, whistling arrows on the bow warrior monks. I'm just going to focus fire them three each, and to slower their reload speed, and to hopefully just do some damage to them. Yeah, kill that guy. Yeah, kill him. Yeah, look. There's some whistling arrows. Yeah, because uh, what we I had to practice whistling arrows a lot, guys, because I was finding that I was whistling arrowing myself because I kept using all six whistling arrows at the same time, just getting the same effect, and I ended up whistling arrowing myself because some of the arrows got caught. Ah, uh -huh. yeah, see, see. And look, you wanted to stand and fight like I told you to. I know. I, I and, did everything and, like And then if you look at this other unit over here that, that's whistled arrowed himself, if you notice, people, he got 40 reload skill compared to the other guy over there that had 40, that had 25 without stand and fight activated. So he made a huge mistake by not putting his gender in a stand and fight for the skirmish fight. But look at that. Bye bye, Monk. Bye. Reaver Durchi. Adios. Right, so I'm going to focus far the bow runner now since they're still on range. He's not making an effort to move up. He's my bow runner, Monk. And we're just gonna pick them off. Oh no, Kev! Oh yes, and then right here, I completely missed it again. Um, there was two light cap that came around the woods to try to charge my men, but I managed to stop them with my great guard. Even though they got a hit on my general, took about eight men down. Um, I see ran into my matchlocks, who dealt a pretty heavy blow and routed them very quickly. Yeah, and I also like to point out, look, all your horses in the back are going. He know. wasted his time going all the way back there to scare off his horses. Um, Hey dude, if somebody leaves their horses all the way in the back, they don't want them. <laughs> I know. It, 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 just hold on, pause for a sec. Guys, we'll be back in a sec. I need to deal with my annoying brother one quick sec. Alright guys, we're back. Sorry, I had to deal with my little brother. Um, now we're back, and we'll get this one back in the game. 
Uh huh. Bye bye, Monk Cav. Bye. See you. Nice so try. So the um, Nagnata Warrior Monk Cav tried to attack my men, and I managed to force him back by pushing my Oda Yari Shigar forward. Yeah, that was beautiful. Kind of I'm so proud of myself. He caught that beautifully. And look, he has these units on fire at will. 17, 75. Repositioning. Yeah, there we go. Go pony. Go pony! This is also Vizros, guys. This is his first time seeing the replay, and he really wanted to see it, so he's a little surprised. So if he's talking to himself about the outcome of the battle, don't just disregard that. Nah. They enjoy watching me laugh and stuff, I think. I don't You're know. So mean. I know. Sometimes I can be. Oh, look, he's moving. I think he's realized he's lost this entire skirmish fight. This is exactly what I wanted him to do. Yeah, so basically, uh, I saw exactly what these guys were doing, and I knew he was doing exactly what happened when we were training, actually. It was actually the same identical movement, which uh, was interesting. Yep. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to focus my Bowery Monks on his charging units, and I'm going to leave my ODR Shigar in the front and the spear wall, which is going to deal. They're going to get damaged a bit because my um, Mashlocks are there. But it's not going to do too much. And now I'm going to pull my Boa Shigar back, and we're going to leave the Naginatas there ready to charge in yeah. after the Yari Shigar absorbed the charge. Yeah, that's better going to Spear Wall. They are in Spear Wall, so I got it. Yeah, there we go. Oh, he just got shot in the back. Yeah, a lot of my guys get oh, shot. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so here comes the cavalry around the flanks. Um, you can see that I actually routed the right side wow. to the left side kind of running, and then we stopped it. So he and now he's going to charge straight to my Naginata Warrior Monks and my Great Guard. And now I'm going to leave my Great Guard on my right flank to defend against these Naginata Warrior Monk Cav. While the right side Naginata Warrior Monks are shipped around the flank and attack these um, Katana Rome. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. So here's a bit of close up against my Great Guard with the Naginata Warrior Monks um, against the Naginata Warrior Monk Cav. And I got a Warfire on them so that's severely going to reduce the morale. But you can see my left flank is actually collapsing. And now I started focusing my Bowmen on the general, so he's going to start losing troops. So you can see I've already dropped 25 in one volley. And he also managed to slip a Naginata Warrior Monk Cav around and try to hit my general, but I'm going to pull a Bow Warrior Monk around and catch them before they get him. Oh yeah, beautiful. Exactly. And now the Great Guard actually is going to fall into my general and get a bit of a damage from the morale blow on me, but my Great Guard are going to fall up soon after I fix oh, my bye -bye general. Blunder. Yeah, he, get, he got a good catch right here. Oh, hmm. Oh, no. Wait. No. Oh, wait. Oh, he, he's holding on. My general doesn't allow it. He actually gets away. Yeah. Beautiful. Look at those damn Ray Guard moving. Why are they walking for? This is a pro. Um, hey, now they're running. And now you can see that in my left flank, um, we are beating the Naginata Warrior Monk Cav. The general of the Eco Eco is gone, so you can see the morale is going to hold for a bit, which is just like Vizro said, that the morale holds, it's very good, but after a while it's going to break, so you can see they've all broken, yeah. and that is the end of the battle. Break. Oh yeah. There we go. Are you oh, how I did it? oh yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful. And exactly it was what I exactly thought would happen, too. Interesting. <laughs> you, seem oh, to, oh. you seem to predict the future, my friend. I know. I predict the future. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed that dual, uh, little dual commentary there for this battle. I thought it was necessary to be a good, nice touch because I don't see many people dual com their tournament battles. So, anyway, see you guys again soon. I'll bring back two more Shogun two battles later. See you. Bye. Later. Bye.